Hello everyone, welcome to Imperfect Chess videos. My name is Sean and today I'm going to show you one of the methods of actually building your own repertoire from scratch as opposed to in the last two videos we were looking at a repertoire that I've already um, had built and we were looking at how to uh, maintain it, look for possible innovations that are happening in the field and just, and just sort of generally taking advantage of having a repertoire database but now we're, today we're going to talk about actually building one so in this case I've got one I already built or I've started to build you can see it's very small but we started to put the lines together and we're defining it as a repertoire database within chess space 12 because we've got the name of the line under white and we've got the variation under black and if you can recall if you go down on the properties we've listed it as a repertoire database that helps us with things like searching and pulling out games out of databases that align with this so what happens if you don't have one of these and you want to build it well you can do it line by line and I'm going to show you how I did that in the next video but there is a neat feature within chess space 12 that I do want to bring to your attention and that is the collect opening so in this case what you want to do is go out and find games where the side you're building the repertoire for that side has played the lines that you want to play. They represent the moves that you would like to make in your repertoire if you remember all of the moves you want to make. and you know, They're your ideal, if you will. And so over here, you can see I've put together a list of, there's about 34 games, all in the two knights game, in this case, that they all represent different ways white can respond to different black responses. I haven't duplicated two or three white responses to the same black response. This is a white repertoire. I've tried to have multiple black responses and then the the appropriate white uh, move to that. And so I've got this here ready to go in my playbook games. And of course you can build this any way you'd like by either uh, your own collection of games or just going into things like the Mega Database or any other database you have and just dragging and dropping and collecting the games, the ones you find. And then you've done your work and that's the hard work here is just putting your game collection together. And now what we want to do is build our chess opening repertoire using the collect openings feature. So I've highlighted the white playbook games and I click on collect openings and I get off an opportunity to build a new database. So I'm going to call this YouTube white repertoire. And I go bang and I give it a second and you can see that it's automatically here on the screen going to be called collect openings but you can notice with the white with the uh, the yellow pull up this is my you can yell, notice with the yellow pull up in theory that this is the the yellow pull up is gone but this is the one we've just created called YouTube chess openings so we've got it there called collect openings and all of the games have been now re distributed into this format which should look familiar to us automatically populated the white column populated the variation in the black and it has the ECO set up and if I open that up you can see it's all set up ready to go and what you're going to want to do at this point is sort of validate that the um, the critical opening line sort of lines up with where you want the critical opening to be you may recall in our previous videos that this blue move is the move that's going to be used to go through and search uh, when you're pulling out things looking for your openings and so this is where um, this one is this this variation is decided there and so might be a little bit of tweaking afterwards but automatically we have something ready to go and now if what we want to do is come over to this um, database and let's make this our repertoire database you only have one at a time so this is now our repertoire database what we can do is you remember in our last video we talked about going to um, a database like recent games this is recent games here in 2014 and running a repertoire report uh, generating repertoire and it can go through now my new date my new repertoire database I've built and in no time at all you can see it's scoring through the scan we've built an opening repertoire database and now we're able to do a filter almost since almost instantly, within a few seconds and there's each line and how many games in this recent in this recent database have shown up within that line and within the variations all ready to go so there it is it's pretty easy in our next video we're going to talk about building it line by line which is how I generally do it because I'm a control freak so uh, feel free please click on the link and subscribe and what we're going to follow up with is other videos looking at actual repertoires and how we dig down and you just use the various databases to ensure we have all the moves that we want and continue building there and I'll, I'll walk through some of my databases line by line and as well if you got a moment 
click on the link and go to imperfectchess.com. We've already packaged my first group of openings uh, for what I call Position 1 in PDF and book format, and uh, maybe you want to check that out. Thanks for listening. See you guys all soon. Cheers.